Hey, welcome to the Windows 8 channel. And uh, today in the uh, little tips and tricks here, we're going to talk about a common problem that people actually have is uh, Internet Explorer crashing randomly, freezing up, um, you know, having all sorts of problems. This is mostly the case of Internet Explorer that's been um, tampered with by third-party software. Now, the biggest problem of Internet Explorer is that, you know, when it's in its pure, basic form, unchanged, usually Internet Explorer works quite well. But it can have problems. And usually, I would say that probably 75 to 80 percent of Internet Explorer problems are due to the fact that add-ons have been um, added to the software or that some other pieces of software add you know different modifications to the Internet Explorer browser and at the end what happens is a browser that might be slower a browser that might um, you know have problems so um, what can you do to try to fix these things uh, here are a few solutions and unfortunately you know not everybody will have an i internet explorer working really well after these obviously some problems are you know to a point where it's even you know you almost need to refresh or restart the computer so first things first check for the toolbars make sure you don't have full of toolbars you know i go to clients and they have like toolbars so many toolbars that it fills up half of the screen so how do you remove these toolbars well first of all most toolbars that you have on your computer will have a name so for example uh, let's click here i'm gonna just enable this let's see here i've got something that's the google toolbar it's the only toolbar i have right now and uh, maybe you have different toolbars I, i've seen a lot of toolbars and um, the first thing is that you might need to do is go into uh, the start button right click on it go into programs and features and the first thing you'll want to check for is try to find the name of the toolbar so it's a if it's a yahoo toolbar a google toolbar uh, I've seen uh, DJ Mix toolbar. I've seen so many types of toolbars. Look at the name that they have. You can right click at the top of your browser if you want, and it's going to give you names very often of toolbars. So find a toolbar that you don't want in the programs and features. And once you find it, just click uninstall. And this uninstall button will, most of the time, remove the toolbar that you don't want. And usually, once that's done, it's removed from the browser. Uh, there are some tricky, bad toolbars out there that very often don't want to uninstall. There's different ways to deal with that. Uh, another thing is that on the left side of some of the toolbars, when you go with your mouse pointer, you might see a little X. You can click on that X and it's going to ask you, do you want to hide or remove the toolbar? You can try that also. Another thing that you might want to go through is go into the tools menu here if you have that tools, the, the, the toolbar here. Or if you don't have it, you can go into the upper right corner in the little tools pinwheel and go into manage add-ons look at the add-ons you have here and you know remove the add-ons you don't use for example I never and don't want the Skype click to call click to call uh, just click on that little add-on and click the disable button on the bottom right and you'll see that it's gonna change to disabled so disable pretty much everything you see, as most of these are not very useful. And I'll actually disable this also in the one note here. Here it goes. Now what does that do? It means that everything that you have that's been actually 
going on with Internet Explorer that's been uh, working in the background or maybe displaying toolbars, well, that's going to disappear. That's going to stop working. So that's one thing that you want to check for. Once that is done and you've disabled pretty much everything, and be careful what you disable. There are a few things. Now, in Internet Explorer 11, we don't need, obviously, uh, Adobe Flash because it's already included. But if you have some kind of uh, function in Windows Internet Explorer or maybe some kind of add-on that gives you specific items that you can use, be careful just to you know disable the ones you don't want sometimes there are add-ons that you might actually want to use uh, or else just disable everything and uh, you know stir serve the web check it out see if it changes anything that doesn't work what else can you do another thing that you can try is to simply go onto the tools menu again go into internet options and go into advanced here you have a reset button so click the reset button but be warned reset resets your browser to its default setting you lose the start page you lose a lot of options here but sometimes that's the only thing that you can do so click that reset button and then click just follow the instructions say yes you want to remove everything and so on and sometimes it's gonna ask you to restart your browser sometimes it's actually gonna ask you to even restart your computer do as they say before clicking on anything and come back is your browser working is your browser not working is it freezing is it still in a problem another thing that you might want to check for is what is freezing uh, sometimes you can pinpoint that a certain website freezes and others don't that's also something that you might check for and last but not least one of the major problems of Internet Explorer very often is that when you have viruses or malware you actually might have a browser that's compromised because of that one of the things you might want to check for is going to the tools once again enter that option click on connection one of the common things that I've seen in problems with Explorer is that in the connections in the LAN settings sometimes there's a little check mark into using a proxy server and there's an address that's typed in here remove that proxy server that's a common problem of computers that are infected with virus and malware remove make sure you have no proxy servers on Internet Explorer's connection and you can of course do as a last resort before you have to reinstall everything um, why not scan your computer with your antivirus software make sure that you have no viruses or anything if it's Defender, Windows Defender, the basic Windows 8 antivirus, just type Defender in the search. Look for it. Uh, another piece of software that's very, very useful is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. It's a very good piece of software for malware on computers. Make sure that you have the latest version, that you update your software regularly. And um, you can also get it from Malwarebytes.org. So make sure that, uh, you know, you get it from the source malwarebytes.org and download the free version of Malwarebytes and uh, scan your computer for problems with Malwarebytes um, like I said a lot of the times malware is a problem in these um, Internet Explorer errors and, pr and freezes so um, removing malware might actually do a fix to your Internet Explorer and if you did all of that and Internet Explorer is broken well there could be some uh, damage from 
malware that you had in the past even malware you know sometimes malware makes changes to the registry or makes basic changes or very profound changes in the Internet Explorer browser itself and it just doesn't work anymore um, what you can do is simply if really nothing else works two choices if you can you can refresh or use a re basically a reformat of your Windows 8 machine by using a refresh or um, what you can do is use another browser like uh, Google Chrome or um, Mozilla Firefox that are two uh, good browsers that will replace your Internet Explorer. Um, many people, you know, have gone to uh, Google Chrome or Firefox. I personally recommend Google Chrome more than Firefox. And um, if you have Explorer problems, well, often uh, Google Chrome will work well or Firefox. And um, hopefully these little tips helped you in getting at least a uh, good working computer with uh, your browser. And uh, contrary to what a lot of people think, because I get this all the time, where people say that Explorer, Internet Explorer is really bad. It's actually not that bad. Uh, but, um, you know, a lot of malware will actually try to infect it or change it because for a lot of people, it's one of the defaults and uh, they use that to uh, browse with their computer. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a problem. Why not ask? And we'll try to f find a fix for you. If you... Um, like our channel, why not subscribe and you'll be informed when new videos are online. This is a Windows channel that's going into the future. As we're going through Windows 10 eventually, we will of course have all the Windows 10 videos online here. So, uh, you know, this is one of the great channels to keep in touch with if you have a Windows machine. Thank you for watching.